Herb <laughs> was listed in the Peoria City Directory right. during uh, 1872 as a resident in the home of Jane Haspel. Although Stewart and Lake took notes of a conversation with Earp years later in which Earp claimed he had been hunting buffalo during the winter of 71-72. Well, Peoria police raided Haspel's home in February 1872, arresting four women, Wyatt and Morgan Earp and George Randall. Oh, shit. The men were charged with keeping and being found in a house of ill fame. Oh, shit. Meaning, uh, these motherfuckers up no good. Yeah, yeah. They were uh, each later fined $20 plus in costs. Oh, no. Both Earps were arrested for the same crime again on May 11th, and yeah. each was fined $44.55. Yeah. So it doubles. <laughs> uh, pretty much, yeah. This is your second offense, guys. Right, it's doubled. The Peoria, Peoria Daily National Democrat reported that Earp had been arrested once more on September 10th, 1872, oh, and this time he was aboard a floating brothel that he owned named the Beardstown Gunboat. Oh, jeez. A prostitute named Sally Heckle was arrested with him, and she called herself his wife. All right. She was likely the 16-year-old daughter of Jane Haspel. Wow. Huh. The newspaper wrote about the incident, saying, Some of the women are said to be good-looking, but all appear to be terribly depraved. All right. John Walton, the skipper of the boat, and Wyatt Earp, the Peoria bummer, Ooh, oh. were each fined $43.15. Sarah Earp, alias Sally Heckle, calls herself the wife of Wyatt Earp. Uh, by calling Earp the Peoria, Peoria bummer, the newspaper was putting them in a class of contemptible loafers who right. impose on hardworking citizens. Right, they're trying to ruin them. A uh, beggar. They're trying to ruin them. And worse than tramps. Right, they're ruining them right now. They trying were to... men of poor character who were chronic lawbreakers, and right. Peoria constables probably considered them to be a pimp. Ooh. Ooh, remember what happened when that dude called Billy the Kid a pimp? Right. Beat his ass. Shot him with his so, pistol. So Wyatt's in a rough place right now. Yeah, he's not good right now, man. Uh, he, Wyatt is not, not look... earning a good reputation. No, not at all. This is the kind of stuff that... Uh, the news wouldn't tell you about <laughs> right if he was running for office right right but they would find it it would happen somewhere august of 1873 found wyatt earp in ellsworth kansas it was here that the legend of wyatt earp began okay so well exactly my point nobody remembers wyatt on right. the fucking uh, pimping boat and getting arrested ellsworth a railhead oh. where huge herds of cattle were driven north from texas was wild with drunken cowboys mm. Two of which were Billy and Ben Thompson, mm -hmm. lethal gunmen who would rather resort to gunplay than talk out an argument. They're like, you know, I'm just not gonna argue with them. Just go pew. Yeah, I have no right. I have I have no time to fucking sit pew. here and uh, go back and forth with you. Pew. And it's over with. Why well, heard of the two killers and chose not to play at the same game tables with the unpredictable men? Well, pretty wise. He was like, eh, I'm I'm good. But but before long, mm. he got caught up with them on the 15th of August in 1873. Okay, that's inevitable, right? Right. While Earp was standing across the street from Brennan's saloon, he heard the sounds of an argument coming from the gambling house. The Thompsons had started a dispute with two other gamblers named John Sterling and Jack Marco, a local lawman. Oh, shit. The disturbance Why soon... is a local lawman gambling with the commoners anyway? Right, and then arguing with them. <laughs> right. The disturbance soon brought Sheriff Chauncey B. Whitney and two deputies. They're like, Sterling and Marco charged at the Thompsons, guns a blazing. But Ben Thompson drove them off with a volley of shots. Then Billy Thompson, a homicidal maniac and hopeless alcoholic, turned oh. his gun on Sheriff Whitney. No. Who prior to this had been drinking had had been a drinking companion and friend to the two brothers. Right. At point blank range, he shot the sheriff down. Damn. Wyatt at first watched the events without interfering as he saw Ellsworth Mayor James Miller enter the saloon and demand that Thompson surrender his guns. When Thompson refused, Miller went in search of Whitney's deputies, who had inexplicably disappeared from the scene after the sheriff was shot. They just fucking said, fuck this. Oh, they were like, yeah, I ain't dealing with this. Fuck you. Oh, my, no. The guy just got shot. You expect me to stick around and be next on the list? No, oh, thank you. Oh, shit. Well, dismayed when Wyatt spotted the two deputies cowering on the sidelines. I'll see. Yep, cowering. He remarked by passing Mayor Miller. This is what I said. It's none of my business, but if it was me, I'd get me a gun and arrest Ben Thompson or kill him. Miller then tore the badge off of <laughs> Deputy Norton's chest and walking back to Earp and said, I'll make it your business. Oh, shit. And then stuck his, the needle in his chest. Boom, right. bitch. Now you got a badge. Wyatt watched, stunned, as Ben Thompson swaggered. Well, it would be swaggered because he was staggered. <laughs> what do you mean swagger? He come... Fucking Conor McGregor yeah. in it out. Yeah, he was swaggering. He's like, ha I just fucking right. won this gunfight. Right. Pretty much, right? Right. Wyatt watched, stunned as Ben Thompson swaggered out of the saloon. 
he mounted his horse with the glee in his step. As Brother Bill waved goodbye, he's like, bye, Ben. <laughs> he said, bye, Billy. Y'all come back now, you hear it? <laughs> I'd like to do another gunfight with you soon, real soon. Wyatt very disgusted looked at the, uh, the deputies in the mayor and said, what kind of fucking town is this? Right. We're standing here meekly across the square. And this is this is they what's, are what's gonna happen. The deputies and the mayor are now way across the square. Right. They got away from that scene as fast as they could. Well, barring a pair of six shooters, he followed Ben Thompson, who was now about a block away. When he caught up with him, he demanded that Thompson throw down his gun. Thompson, who knew of her, complied, and Wyatt marched him to jail. Wow. Ben Thompson was fined twenty five dollars for disturbing the peace, and a warrant for murder was issued for Brother Billy. Oh. So impressed was Mayor Miller that he offered Wyatt the job of town marshal at $125 a month. That's Ooh. a hell of a salary. Right. Uh, but Earp declined. He said, nope. Handed Miller back the badge and saying he intended to go into the cattle business with his brothers. Right. Ben Thompson, who would later turn lawman himself, Damn. would say to Bat Masterson in subsequent years that he had a powerful hunch that Wyatt would have killed him Most if sad. he hadn't thrown down his gun. Damn. So maybe like Wyatt was like a turning point in Ben Thompson's life, getting caught by Wyatt, and it was like, damn. Right, he's like, I can't continue these ways. I should be a lawman. I'm a lawman myself. Well, that story of how Earp had backed down Ben Thompson's suit spread up and down the Chisholm Trail, and the Wyatt Earp legend was born. Ooh. 